Today, I want you to get ready for a super messy house transformation and some serious deep cleaning. This is an extreme whole house clean with me that took me two days to complete. My house had become a disaster after a long weekend and I was ready to tackle the mess. I also wanted to deep clean my master bathroom. I was going to clean blinds and windows, baseboards and doors, and then also deep clean some window trackings that had become Full of dirt and pet fur. So get ready for some major cleaning motivation and give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get up, get moving, and get things done. So I'm starting out by showing you some clips of the disaster that my house was and how messy it truly was. I had just purged and completely decluttered my master closet. So I had a lot of boxes and bags full of clothes that needed to be donated just all over the house. And we were just living our life this past weekend. So, so today I had plans to get the house in order and get things cleaned up. I started out in the master bedroom by changing out the sheets and making the bed and doing some vacuuming and dusting in there. But then I was going to move on and deep clean my master bathroom. I've talked about this before, but sometimes if I have an area that I really wanna spend some time on and deep clean, I like to get it done first because that's when I have all of the energy so I plan on moving into the master bathroom and then giving that a really good deep clean Gotta pull it together before it's too late and now a glass in my mind I Here's a little sneak peek of some satisfying deep cleaning you're gonna see later on in the video. So how are you guys doing these days? We are gearing up for school to get started, but honestly, I have no idea how things are going to play out. I feel like here in Ohio, things have been changing day by day. So it'll be interesting to see how the entire school year plays out. But if you guys are new here, my oldest daughter, Avery, will be, well, she's five. So she will be starting kindergarten this year. So it's our first year that we're in the real school, real school system. I also have twins that will be a year and a half in September. I am married to my high school sweetheart, Mike, and we've been together since about middle school. And if you're wondering, he works in finance. I'll have a little get to know me playlist link right here and also in the description if you want to get to know me in a different level, you know, if you want to get to know me more and not just see me clean. But either way, I am truly glad you're here. I hope when you're here, you feel like we're friends, we're hanging out, we're getting things done. I hope you can take something away from these videos that will help you, whether it's you know motivation, whether it's cleaning products that you wanna try out, whether it's just new ideas, whatever it is, I hope that you feel good and inspired by watching my videos. But let me know why you watch these type of videos and what you like 
to get out of them. But either way, please say hi in the comment section. I love getting to know you guys down there and I would love to have you guys join my journey. I've been trying to use up some of my old cleaning products that I've had for a while. So this was kind of buried deep in my bathroom cleaning basket and it's just some glass cleaner from the dollar store. So I was using that on the mirrors and the window here in the bathroom. And then I was gonna go in with my trusty old Lysol hydrogen peroxide to wipe down the vanity, which I think is a wonderful bathroom cleaning product. To wipe down the doors and the baseboards, I was just using the Mrs. Myers Lavender Spray. I typically use N-Dust for my baseboards, but I was being super lazy and didn't want to go back downstairs to get the N-Dust. So I was using the multi-surface spray that I keep up here on the second level. And it's a bonus because it smells really good too. And so I like using it in smaller rooms because I feel like the smell just really lingers and I find that it does a pretty good job on my baseboards if they aren't too bad the multi-surface spray does a really good job but I also get asked a lot about the trays that are on my bathroom vanity that hold our bathroom products and I get them from Target I typically find them in the dollar section I think the big one that I have on my side was about five dollars but keep an eye out for them they go quickly and I believe they are technically technically a cake stand, but it's just a pretty way to have all of my products arranged on the vanity, but it, and it also makes it easy for me to quickly wipe things down when I need to. It honestly had been about two weeks since I had cleaned the master shower, so clearly you can see it was time to give it a good cleaning. So I sprayed down the shower, and while I was letting the product sit in the shower and kind of work its magic, I went in to clean the toilet, and then I'd go back and scrub out the shower. I was using the Jaws shower cleaner. I've talked about Jaws cleaning products so much here on my channel, and I love them. 
I can just order them online and it's hard not to be able to find the products. Like I've said, I've been having a hard time finding a lot of bathroom cleaning products at the store, but I don't have any issues or ordering offline from Jaws. So this is not sponsored at all. I always want to mention that, but if you do want to check them out, there is a 25% off code you can use in the description. So go give them a try. Don't forget to come over and find me on Instagram. It is Jamie Lins with an S dot journey. I'll also have it linked down below, but come over here, say hi to me, send me a message. I love chatting with you guys over there. So if you've been around for a while, then you know that I've had some issues with this cordless Dyson vacuum. Well, right after this video, I plan to go and completely take it apart, deep clean it, and I'm hoping that will take care of the problem. And if you guys want to see me film that, I don't know if you guys have a similar vacuum and you want to see me clean it. It is pretty dirty. I know that. So let me know if you want to see me do that on camera, but I'm hoping it runs a little bit better once I do this. So stay tuned. I'll update you. I'll show you if you guys want to see that, but I'll either way, I'll update you and hopefully deep cleaning it makes it run a little bit better. Twins are down for their afternoon nap and I am going to work on the downstairs. <laughs> I just feel like lately we've been pretty busy prioritizing spending time together as a family and doing things like going on walks, getting out of the house, like not necessarily being around people, but just getting out of the house as a family and getting some fresh air. And so, so this is what happens. Um, and I just hope that when you guys come here, you will see real life messes. I honestly feel like if I would look at this mess, if it would have been three years ago, I would have said, she's a messy slob. But this is just my life right now. I feel like, especially with the twins, those twins, they have flipped my world upside down because I mean, I strive to keep up with my routine. And what is a routine? Something we strive for, but we don't necessarily get to every single day. Like my skincare routine, my nighttime, like anti-aging routine, I try to get that done every night, but I'm telling you, it doesn't happen every single night. So hopefully when you guys come here, you, you see motivation. I can give you tips and tricks on how to clean and routines and what works for me. But you also see that sometimes real life happens and even if you don't have young kids even if you don't have kids at all um we all go through times in our life where we don't want to clean up or we're busy or whatever it is we have other things that we need to do and this is what happens and it's normal so anyways i gotta get moving because i know the twins will be up and then i'll probably finish up the rest of the house tomorrow so Let's get to this. Okay, so before I get started here in the kitchen, I need to get rid of all of this stuff. So, you guys, I'm thinking when you see this, you should be seeing this on Sunday. On Thursday of this week, you are going to see a closet declutter purge refresh. You're going to see that here on my channel, and this is part of the aftermath. Not all of the aftermath, but part of it. So... Um, I have clothes, things I need to recycle, boxes I need to break down and recycle, and just some garbage as well. So um, I brought it all down earlier this morning, and I'm going to get all of this stuff put out in the garage, kind of get it organized out into the garage. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that video. I'm really, really excited. 
and maybe tomorrow when I'm cleaning back upstairs because I think I'm gonna do um, the girls rooms and the bathroom up there maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek of the closet it just turned out so well and felt so freeing to get rid of so much like we got rid of way more this is not even a majority of the clothes that we got rid of so I'll if you guys stick around I will show you a little sneak we'll peek of the closet and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time I trip it's a free fall why don't you have So something I really want to get more into is reading books. I love to read, like love it. It is one of my favorite things to do, but honestly, with having three young kids, I don't really get that chance very often, but I want to get more into it. So let me know if you're reading, what are some good books that you've been reading lately? And do you listen to books, um, like audiobooks? Do you listen to them or do you prefer actually the physical book and reading them? Let me know some good book titles and whether you listen to audiobooks or you actually read the physical book. Since we're in the kitchen, I'm going to fill you in on the cabinet painting situation. So if you guys are new here, we want to paint our cabinets white. It's just way too dark in here. And I think I talked about in my last video that, that the first quote we got was just under $9,000 to have our cabinets painted white and changed up. Um, so we're getting a couple other quotes, but we just got one and I was much, much happier with the price. It was right around $2,000. So much better than 9,000 but right now we are or right now they are booking into de November and December I think right now everyone is just doing home improvements and changing things up in their homes so they are getting pretty booked up but we're pretty sure we're gonna go ahead and do it G get us get us on the books for November or December which will be exciting for the end of the year and I'm kind of good with that because school will be starting. We'll be so busy with that. Um, I think it'll be really the perfect time, hopefully, before the holidays. So stay tuned. I'll update you guys when I can. Do you know how when you get something in your mind and then you can't let it go and it just keeps bothering you? I think because I film 
videos in my kitchen all of the time when i'm going back and editing them i see how dark the cabinets are and how dark the floor is and it's been driving me crazy and it's like we've had this house for five years like it's nothing new and i've never liked it but i think now because we're getting closer to getting them painted every time i watch back these videos i hate the dark 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 so I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's almost like you get your mind set on something and then you just keep focusing on it and it just gets worse and worse and worse. here cleaning I mean I knew these curtains were dirty because they sit right next to the high chairs but they were way worse than I realized I don't even know if the camera is picking I mean there's like oh okay yeah I don't even think the camera is picking up how dirty these are along the bottom um, but they it's full of food all over and they're pretty dirty so I'm gonna take these off they are machine washable and I'm gonna go throw them in the wash So to clean the window trackings, which by the way, I absolutely hate doing. I really hate this cleaning job. I just use a spray bottle with some vinegar and water in it and then some paper towels. And I use, you know, a variety of a cleaning toothbrush, toothpicks. I wrap a wet paper towel around a butter knife to get in all of the cracks. So to get in, to get all of that dirt out of the cracks, I feel like I have to use a variety of products. And I basically just keep spraying the vin vinegar and water in the tracking, pull up some dirt and mud, use a lot of paper towels, and then just keep doing it over and over and over until it becomes clean. And I feel like I go through a lot of paper towels, but there's just a lot of dirt and mud specifically in this window tracking. And then I have this sponge. It's just a basic sponge that you can get from Walmart that we cut to fit the tracking and it just slides back and forth. So I will usually do that last or if I have some tracking that isn't really bad, like isn't muddy or dirty, I can just run it down the tracking. Like if you have a window, you know, like upstairs or that doesn't get opened a lot, it just kind of helps you keep the tracking clean. It's like upkeep. So just a perfect little cleaning hack if it's something you're not familiar with. Sneak peek of my closet. I know you guys really don't have much of a reference because I didn't show my closet a ton before. But yeah, it looks so nice. There's so much more room and I got rid of a ton of clothes. So make sure you set your reminders this Thursday the 13th, 10 a.m. Get ready for an extreme declutter and closet makeover. Hey guys, it is day two, and yes, I'm wearing <laughs> the same outfit. If you're still here in the video, you guys don't judge me. Same outfit, just because I didn't want to add more laundry to my pile, so I just said it. Sometimes I do that. If I know I want to re-wear an outfit, um, <laughs> The next day, I'll just like kind of lay it out and I just threw it back on. I'll wash it tonight. But anyways, 
Um, it's about two o'clock. The girls are down for their afternoon nap. And what I'm gonna do is kind of finish up for what I did yesterday. Um, I wanna kind of clean around the front door area, um, vacuum the stairs. I have to clean the girls' bathroom and then pick up Avery's room. And then maybe when the twin, right when the twins wake up, I'll be able to go in and kind of take care of the room. So that is kind of my plan, but we are on day two. We're gonna get this whole house finally clean. Yeah, let's do this. Keep it cool, with you I feel of breaking rules. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue. On the edge, cleaning out. With us it's all or nothing. On the second day, the plan was I just wanted to wipe down the area around the front door and then vacuum the stairs. And I find that the areas around the front door and the garage door tend to get beat up and marked up pretty frequently. So I wanted to go in and wipe it down with a multi-surface spray, nothing too crazy, and then vacuum the stairs. Before I moved on to the upstairs and finished up there. But I'll admit, vacuuming the stairs was something that I didn't do very often because I hated doing it. Like I really don't like doing it, but I've really come to enjoy when my stairs are fluffy and vacuumed. So I've been doing it more frequently. I find it pretty satisfying to see the stairs vacuumed and fluffy. And then I just popped into the girls' bathroom and I wanted just to do a quick wipe down in here and vacuum, just like a very minimal fast clean. Um, and I was just using a cleaner that I had on hand under the sink. It's my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and about a, a nail size, a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. It's one of my all time favorite cleaners as well as, as one of my go-tos because with the rubbing alcohol, it disinfects. So I have it on hand upstairs and that's what I used. just came in here to clean up Avery's room and I say this a lot and I just like I know if you guys watch my videos a lot you're like yeah you say that a lot you say it all the time and most of you guys or a far majority of you guys always tell me like I don't need to explain myself um, like I get to make my family's own decisions all of that but it's just so hard that when I clean up my kids stuff I always get comments based on comments, you know, saying that I should be making my kids pick up after themselves, blah, blah, blah. And I understand that I'm on a public forum. I'm going to get comments that, you know, people are always not going to agree with me. And honestly, most of the comments don't bother me, but they're just something when people make comments about me making my kids clean up, it really bothers me because... I know it's really not that bad of like an attack on me as being a mom, but in a way that's how I feel. And I'm sure any of you moms totally understand what I'm saying. It's like, I mean, you, I guess if you were gonna attack me as being a mom, there's so many worse things that you could attack me for. Um, but I just don't like when people make comments on my parenting and like my whole philosophy with it is, let's just say that Avery never picked up a thing. I don't understand why it matters to anybody else because it's my decision and I'm gonna have to deal with a kid who gets older and doesn't know how to clean up or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the twins made this mess, 
the girls were all playing in here um which we've been doing just to kind of change up the scenery i said this like a couple weeks ago but also poor avery she is not feeling well today she just got sick so um mike is sitting with her downstairs and so even though i had planned on having her help me clean up this mess because she was in here with the twins she obviously does not feel well so anyways um i'm sure that if you are still here that you guys are a supporter and you guys will say that i don't need to explain myself and i appreciate that a lot but if you guys just hear me say that periodically in a video and you're like oh she keeps repeating herself it's because every single time i don't have her helping me i get those comments and i let most of them roll off the back but i just i'll be honest with you it bothers me because i feel like when it's a comment that involves my kid or my parenting, it really bugs me. So anyways, I'm all good, I'm all good. But just wanted to explain that before I go and clean up this mess in her room. Oh, and not to mention that obviously I am filming this, you know what I mean? And I'm never going to force Avery to be in a video. She gets to choose whether she wants to be in the video or not. Um, I'm never going to force her to do anything that she doesn't want to do, putting her on the internet. So that also plays a role in all of this. You know, like if she doesn't want to be on camera, I'm not going to force her to be on camera. So that's the other part to that. I also realize that people making the comments are just making the comments because they want to be and if they didn't make a comment about that they'd probably find something else to make a negative comment about um, but anyone who has been a mom before we all know we go in and clean up after our kids <laughs> if I made my kids clean up after all of their messes it probably would never get done and I would just be standing over them making them do it so um, I also like to go in periodically and take care of it because Avery likes to collect a lot of junk. And when I go in here without her, I can get rid of all that stuff. So it's like it almost, it gets cleaned my way. And it's nice to do that from time to time. Now it's my nighttime routine of vacuuming and mopping and I think it had been about three days since I had vacuumed and mopped, maybe two, two or three, which again, this is my routine, but it doesn't happen every single night. So I was really excited to mop because the floors were really dirty and I knew I knew it would feel even better. You know, like clean floors always is nice, but it feels even better when they're really dirty and you can feel how clean they are afterwards.
And then I pulled out my old Dyson to vacuum in the living room. I love the vacuum lines that this old dinosaur vacuum <laughs> gives me. It's about 11 years old, but I believe it still works pretty well. And I really like the vacuum lines. But when I'm done vacuuming here, I am done for my two-day whole house clean with me. Thank you for still being here. You guys are amazing. You rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned for my closet declutter and purging coming out this Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys next time.